morning guys not a day i'm looking forward to i'm going to get the shot so i'll film it if i can um so let's head to town <laughs> shot I thought I'd have something not so good for me Okay, I just talked to someone that got the shot and they said just go straight up and they'll get you right in. So here we go, guys. Okay. I won't put your face in this. Yeah. <laughs> now we're going in the left or the right arm. Let's go. Is it, is it my arm gonna be sore? Yeah. So you'll. Probably, I'm right-handed, so. So we'll go on the left. Okay. okay. Now the the symptoms on the if I get any side effects, what will they be? So go and relax your arm for me. So they can be, you know, sore sore arms, stiffness of the arm. Um, Okay. Not All right, guys, I want you to know that the vaccination is a personal choice. Don't do it because I did it. Don't do it because of something I say. Don't not do it because of something I say. It is a personal choice between you and your doctor. And so for me, my underlying health conditions are very bad. So I did this to be precautionary for me. So this is my choice. I don't expect anyone else to feel the same as me or different than me. It's, it's all up to you and your doctor. With that said, let me show you what I'm gonna make with those vegetables I bought. And um, then we will chat a little bit and then we'll have some shout outs. Okay, we'll talk to you in a bit. All right, guys, let's talk a little bit more. Okay, pandemic and van life. Here's the deal. When I've been in my van since July 2019. January is when it really started. To, uh, January of 2020, you know, things were starting to get bad. And I was already parked out in the country. I wasn't around anybody very often. But from about that time on, I was even more careful. I didn't like to go. I still don't like to go to town and be around people. Um, and uh, my daughter worries so much about me. And... You know, it's been hard. Uh, you know, my daughter only lives 15 minutes from where I park at, but I can't really uh, hang out just when I want because she's so worried about me getting something or me catching it from the babies or her um, that she stresses on it. And I don't want to stress her out any. I do spend time with them, but she really tries to like quarantine before I come over. You know, and, and I love her for that. But this pandemic has been very hard on people, um, very hard on the elderly uh, and and uh, uh, very hard on people with underlying health issues like myself. I just want to say uh, I, I did make the right choice for myself. If I would have been in sticks and bricks, 
it would have been harder, I believe, because I would have been around people more often because I lived in town. And uh, I don't like the being solitary the way I am or the way, I'm, way my life is right now, but it is what's best for me. And um, so uh, I feel better that I got the shot. Um, you know, the second one is uh, in April around the 18th, I'll be getting the second shot. And what I'm gonna do throughout videos is I'm gonna keep you guys up to date. So tomorrow, I'll make a little video too, and I'm, I'll probably get it up the next day to let you guys know how I'm feeling or if I'm feeling anything from it. So, but um, I'll be doing little videos of it um, as it goes and as I, if I feel bad or if my arm's sore. Um, the only thing right now, it's been six hours, my arm is getting sore and I feel tired, but I think I was probably tired anyway. Uh, so, um, but I just want to thank you guys for coming along with me. Remember to make the choice that's right for you. It's between you and your doctor. So right now I want you guys to stay tuned. I got a couple of channels. I'm shouting out channel members, and then I'll run the trailer for all the channel members. Much love to you all from Oregon. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. And I'll see you out there.